Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my first ever vintage clothing haul. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might know that I really enjoy watching old Hollywood movies and really old shows from like the 50s and 60s. So I think my fascination and my interest in these kinds of movies and shows have made me a lot more interested in vintage clothing. A few months ago, I decided to see if I could get a few authentic vintage pieces. And since then, I've kind of been looking around in a few vintage stores and on a few websites. I finally managed to get a few things. And for the most part, they do actually fit me pretty well. I mean, they do at least fit me a lot better overall than a lot of more recent modern brands. So today I thought I would do a clothing haul where I just show you guys what I got and try it on. The first vintage item of clothing that I got were actually these pants. They are jeans and they're from the 50s. They are from a brand called Carol Brent. And I actually found these pants in a vintage store in town. And when I saw them and I saw they were from the 50s, I just really had to try them even though it just looked a bit too big for me. I tried them on and I love the cut of them so much that I kind of had to get them. They're super super high-waisted and they don't really have a zipper in the front or on the back. They actually have the zipper on the side here which is kind of covered by a bit of denim. These didn't really fit me very well when I first got them because they were a bit too big but they already had this like elastic band on the back, which you just button it to one of the buttons here, and I just had a seamstress add one more button on each side to make the waistband just a little bit tighter for me. I would say now they fit me perfectly, and I really couldn't be any happier with them. I absolutely love these pants since I got them, I don't know, maybe two or three months ago. I've been wearing these at least once or twice a week because I just love them so much. I think they're super comfortable, they're really flattering, and because they're so high-waisted, they look really cute with like a crop top or any shirt that's like tucked into the pants because if you kind of cover the waistband, they just look like um, kind of weird pocketless mom jeans. I just find them really really comfortable because even though they're tight here, again because of the elastic band you can kind of loosen them or tighten them a bit depending on like how much you ate. I just really like the look of them, so this was the first thing that I got, and probably my favorite. The second item of clothing that I got were these white and blue striped shorts. They are a bit wrinkly right now and that's totally my fault because I didn't iron them. They are by Harrods London and again they have the same sort of zipper on the side. The zipper is kind of covered by a little bit of the fabric. I like the fact that the zipper isn't too obvious. Unlike the jeans, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for these but I know they were quite a lot cheaper because they do actually have a couple of uh, issues. I don't think you can tell very easily from afar, but from up close, you can see that there's a red pen mark there and also towards the bottom here. And uh, I really don't know how to get these stains out. If you guys have any advice or suggestions on how I might be able to get these off, please let me know. I'd love to know. So this is how the shorts look on me. They have these two teeny tiny pockets on the front, which is not much, but it's better than nothing. Shockingly enough, these actually fit me on my waist perfectly, which if you watched any of my other clothing haul videos, that basically never happens. Unfortunately though, they are really, really tight on the back, so I can't say I feel super comfortable wearing them, at least not like this. I do like the shorts, and I really don't think the red stains on them are very noticeable, but I don't see myself wearing these outside without at least some tights on or something because this just feels a little bit too short. The next item of clothing that I got was this very wrinkly, again because I washed it and didn't iron it, dress. It's by the brand Kryler or 
cry lure i don't know i got this one at another vintage store and this dress is from the 60s so as i said this dress is from the 60s i thought it was really cute because i think this little detail on the shoulder is a bit interesting and I really like the look of these gold buttons all the way down, but again, because it is so short, it's literally as short as the 50s shorts, so I will definitely be wearing this with like leggings or something like that, especially because in the front it has these like really cool gold buttons, but they stop basically on your waist, they don't really go all the way down, but I guess if they did it would be harder to walk in, so... I still think it's really interesting and cute and it does look very mod 60s. So the next item that I got was from the same store where I got this dress and it's this pink or orange or salmon colored. I'm not really sure what to call this. It looks more pink on camera than it does in person because this truly is kind of right in between pink and orange to me so i'm not really sure what to call this color i just really love the print of this i think it's so pretty this is by the brand james new york and it's supposedly a size small and i actually only paid five pounds for this because this was on a five pound sale along with a bunch of other items most of which were either men's or far too big it doesn't really feel like a small it feels more like a medium to me but just as it is i think it still looks really cute but i think i'm basically just gonna wear it like this because i just feel like it looks a lot cuter as a sort of cropped shirt instead of just a regular button-up. I think this shirt will go really well with anything high-waisted and yeah I'm kind of in love with this top right now even though it is pretty pink and I don't like pink. I feel like I would wear this fabric in any color and I would love it because I just think it's so pretty. And now we finally arrive at the most I'd say iconic looks of the 50s. I have this sort of button-up long dress with a matching belt and this is a 50 size 10 and it is by the brand American Golfer. This is how the dress looks on me. It's very very 50s looking and I absolutely love that. It fits me fairly well. It's a little bit baggy but I don't think it's really that noticeable. I just really love these types of dresses because they are perfect to do twirls and that's something I always loved doing as a kid. I would just put on these like super pretty massive dresses and twirl and twirl and twirl because it was just fun. It still is honestly, so I really like this dress. But as I said before, it is a little bit baggy on me. I don't think it's baggy enough that I would actually have the dress altered, but I do think that I would need like two more holes maybe for it to properly fit me. The one I just showed you is a classic fit and flare kind of dress and the next one is a wiggle dress. Again, very wrinkly, totally my fault, I'm sorry, I hate ironing. I don't think I've ever met anyone who actually enjoys ironing so I generally try to get clothes that I don't have to iron because they don't wrinkle very easily and unfortunately it seems that a lot of vintage pieces just wrinkled very easily which means that I will have to iron a lot more often to actually be okay with wearing these outside but I didn't, I really don't like ironing so I'm sorry but for now they're wrinkled. This one is from the brand Long Sal. I don't know. Long ball? I don't know because I think that's a terrible font. As I was saying, this is a classic wiggle dress. It's got these almost pearl looking buttons all the way down and in a classic 50s style it came with a matching belt. It's pretty comfortable actually and it does fit me fairly well but I don't really know if it's because I'm kind of short or not but the dress does feel like it's a bit too long on me. I personally would like it to be a little bit shorter and again I have the same issue that I did with the previous one where like the dress itself fits me pretty well like I wouldn't ask to have it made smaller but the belt has again five holes and this is actually the size of my waist so I would like to have it made a little bit smaller. I just feel like 
that length for me is a little bit awkward. I would like to have it more either hit me on the knee or maybe be even a little bit shorter than that. Just maybe something like that I think would be cuter because this length seems very corporate. It just seems a bit too professional. I like it, but every time I put it on, I kind of get this urge to just get a pair of scissors and just cut. So I'm almost done with the haul. There's just one more thing I would like to show you guys, which is this PVC belt from the 50s. I got this for really cheap because it's very old. It's not in great condition and it's a pretty small size. So I guess not a lot of people were interested in it. I was literally the only one to bid on it. So I think that says something. So this is how the belt looks on me. As you guys can see, it's pretty tiny and what is pretty shocking to me apart from the fact that it fits at all is well two other things actually one of them that this i don't know what you would call this like i always call it like a flap it doesn't really flap around that much because the belt itself doesn't have a lot of length to it something else that i found very surprising about this belt not only does it fit me but i'm not even on the smallest size as you guys can see there there is one size smaller which might not be a big deal to you guys but i always struggle to find clothes that are small enough for me unless i'm buying in the literal children's section for like 10 year olds so i'm really happy with this belt so yeah that was everything vintage that i've gotten over the past few months i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like comment subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye.